name is Jonathan Ben from Grade 9, and I'll be talking about affordable and clean energy. When we're talking about energy, we're usually talking about electricity, since that's what powers most of we have in society. But although many of us have access to electricity, 3 billion people still have still use wood, coal, and animal waste for their cook, their heating and cooking. So, as the seventh goal of the Sustainable Development Goals of the UN states that, ensure access to affordable, reliable, and sustainable modern energy for all. But the UN does not want to give any old energy. They want to give renewable energy. Renewable energy is energy that is created by nature. They want this because fossil fuels, such as these, are causing global warming. But that is a different topic, so I will not be talking about that. The most widely used renewable energy is hydropower. Hydropower is energy generated by water, such as dams. It is, well, electricity is gen generated when the water spins the generator and creates electricity. The largest Hydroelectricity dam is the Three Gorges in China. Wind power is uh, power generated by the wind. Wind uh, it is created when the wind spins turbines on the wind turbine. And a good characteristic of this power source is that it can be it takes very little space, so they can be placed together quick in small spaces, such as the Linder Array in the UK. Solar panels collect energy by the sun's rays. A good character, a good quality of this is that it can be placed anywhere, such as the roofs of houses. So people often put them on top of their buildings or houses. And this is the largest solar power plant. This is the Eiffel in the U.S. Biopower is created from biomass. This is a plant that is whose purpose is only making. Biofuel. Biofuel is fuel for cars or for cognition stations. It is created when the biomass gets deconstructed into sugars, which is then purified into fuel. Cognition stations use biofuel to heat up turbines and create electricity. The largest power plant is the Al Holmes Craft Power Station in Finland. Geothermal power. Geothermal energy itself is actually located in the earth, but so the power stations collect the energy from heating water and spinning turbines. The largest one is the Geysers Geothermal Complex in the US. Though geothermal is a very good power source, it has many problems. If a problem occurs, it can cause a big earthquake. <coughs> Other power sources can create problems too, such as dams. If they break, they can cause enormous floods. But even without breaking, they can cause problems too. They can cause droughts around the area or destroy marine ecosystems. Wind turbines kill more than 100,000 birds a year, and solar panels only work when the sun is out. So if it's a cloudy day, they will not produce energy. But the biggest problem uh, for renewable energy is that they have no money. It's too expensive to make all this, all this technology. So because building all these constructions costs a lot of money and keeping them in maintenance keeps more money. So what can we do to help? We can first of all donate because what they need is a lot of money. Second up, because they can use the money to research more ways or to fix the old invention that I've already made. Second, use some of the renewable energies that I've already stated before. For example, use a solar, pan solar panel on top of your roof or it will pay for most of your electricity bill. And third, Get an electric car. Electric car uses electricity, not fuel, because that is much better than fossil fuels. Even though they are more expensive than regular gas cars, state tax credits can lower their price and make them equal. They are also silent, so that's very good. Thank you.